Here we are. Yep, Nathan will make his debut, um, which is obviously exciting for, for him. Um, I think someone that's played a lot of first-class cricket recently has uh, obviously been successful, um, obviously both in, in all formats, but yeah, someone that's deserved his opportunity over a period of time and um, yeah, a really exciting challenge for him, um, which is going to be yeah, in, a, in a great series. Is, uh, yeah, so we're looking forward to, to getting him behind him. Yeah, that was obviously um, an amazing sort of couple of weeks. Um, you know, what we were able to do over in India and um, I think coming here, um, as cliche as it might sound, um, you know, that, that is in the past. Um, it's all about coming here and, and focusing on what, what challenge lies ahead. We'll see new conditions, um, new team. Um, but yeah, I think for us, it's trying to take as much confidence as we can from, from that series. Um, the, the way we played, the, the approach that we, we tried to take into that series and, and conditions that were tough, um, yeah, knowing that we can do it uh, sort of all around the world is the confidence that we need to take into, into here and, and obviously nice coming home to familiar conditions. Um, some Hagley first, first up, you know, someone that we've, we've played reasonably well in, in the past. So um, yeah, guys looking forward to yeah, getting out in front of a packed house by the sound of things, which is, yeah, it's going to be a great atmosphere. Yeah, I, I guess winning games of cricket when you're captain is obviously um, you'd certainly rather that than be, be on the other side. But um, yeah, obviously it's not it's not just me. It's it, it's a full team collective effort, and um, yeah, I think that was the that was the most pleasing thing is just the way we went about things over there and conditions um, that were tough. And we speak about it all the time as trying to adapt to conditions and try adapt as quick as we can. And, and I thought we did that really well over there. Um, it's important we come here and and try to do the same as quick as possible. Um, we know the style that England are going to bring, um, you know, the way that they play their cricket. So, um, yeah, it's trying to sort of think on our feet a little bit and, and try to be as well prepared as we can. Oh, look, that's sort of in the background. Um, I think for us, we've been in the situation before um, with the first cycle where we needed to win. Uh, a certain amount to, to make, you know, the the, the last uh, the, the final. But um, yeah, for us, it's about what lies ahead in, in this game coming up. What you know, day one, what that's going to bring. Try not to look too far ahead. Um, you know, if we get into that position of you know being a chance, then then that's great. But um, I think that's a byproduct of doing the things that we do well um, over a period of time. You know, from from test match to test match. So um, our focus is solely on what what we're going to be presented with tomorrow in the, in the next five days and um, you know, I know the guys are looking forward to that. Yeah, it's really special. Uh, I think whenever you play at home, um, it is always special. I know the guys love playing at their home grounds, uh, places that they're familiar with and um, have been fortunate enough to, to lead this team uh, out on out on Hagley Oval before, so um, yeah, it's it's always a, a proud moment, um, and certainly one looking forward to. And yeah, it's a, it's a, going to be a great atmosphere. Obviously, the Barmy Army uh, are here in their numbers by the sound of things, and and I've heard that it's pretty much a sellout over the next couple of days. So, um, you know, crickets, you know, with the series here, with um, you know the way that we win in India, um, you know, crickets riding a bit of a high at the moment. So um, hopefully, we can keep entertaining, and, and I'm sure. The next five days will we'll bring plenty of that. Oh, I just think any one of his calibre, um, you know, coming back into your eleven is, um, you know, boosts things regardless um, of, of where he's at. Um, you know, someone that's done it all around the world for, for a long period of time, um, that has done it in all conditions. Um, yeah, it's having that sort of experience to lean on is is great not only for me but but also the rest of the guys so um yeah certainly happy to have him back and um looking forward to him getting back out there and, and getting stuck in just lastly from me what does this rivalry mean to you guys between black and England? yeah it's a it's a cool rivalry rivalry that we've got um i think we're fortunate enough we've played a lot against each other over um, you know, certainly my time uh, in the Black Caps, but, but also before that. And now we've got this pretty special trophy to, to play for is, um, you know, I guess makes it, makes it extra special to guys that 
had a massive influence on cricket in New Zealand and, and also in, in England. So to, to be playing for, for something like this, uh, I know both teams will be itching to get their, their hands on it first up. So um, yeah, we've, we've had some great battles over um, you know the last five, seven years um, with, with England and, and that was no different a couple of seasons ago when, um, you know, when, when they were out here. So um, I'm sure it will produce some more thrilling games um, like we've seen and um, yeah, I'm sure both teams are looking forward to getting into it. So yeah, Kane obviously comes in and unfortunately Will Young misses out. Um, yeah, someone who obviously played fantastically well over uh, in in India. Um, you know, he yeah, did did a great job for us. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, uh, it's nothing on what Young has done. Um, you know, because he's been fantastic over the last period of time. But um, yeah, having someone like Kane come back in uh, is yeah obviously boosts your your side with the the caliber of of player that he is. Yeah, yeah, steady, steady had that conversation, but um, yeah, certainly followed up with with Youngie. Um, as I said, he's a, he's a great team man. Um, yeah, he's certainly done, done nothing wrong. Uh, it was a tough decision to, to make, but um, I guess when you're in those positions where you have to make tough calls, um, it means your, your team's in a in a good spot. So um, yeah, obviously gutted for Youngie, but excited, you know, with with Kane coming back in. You um, tell us a little, little about Nathan. You know, what you had some really good fast balls at your disposal for. A yeah, someone that can move the ball um, both ways in the air and um, you know can hit the wicket reasonably hard. So um, I think he sort of bal balances our um, bowling attack quite nicely um, with the with the other three guys. So uh, and he can and he can bat, bat a little bit, a bit of a bowling all rounder. Um, you know, which certainly helps the the balance of our side. So uh, as I said, he's someone that's produced results over a period of time for Wellington. Um, been domestic player of the year, uh, I think, for a couple of seasons in a row, potentially. So, um, yeah, great to, to have someone like that that's um, earned his spot and, and certainly deserves to, to be in the, this 11. And, um, yeah, we're looking forward to getting him behind him tomorrow. And you, you probably know as well, it's the 10-year anniversary since Phil Hughes uh, died. I just wondered if, you're, if you could say something about your sort of reflections on that anniversary and, and what it's been like coming up as a player in international cricket against the backdrop of that and how things might have changed. Yeah, I, I think we were actually playing at the time um, when that happened, and um, yeah, I guess ten years on is a, it's gone you know pretty quickly. But um, yeah, I guess our thoughts are with um, you know Phil and his his family around um, you know this the I guess the, the anniversary of that, and um, I guess it just puts cricket into perspective around you know it is just a game um, that we play but yeah certainly yeah, our thoughts will be with with his family and um, and I, I guess the the cricket public and, and Australian cricket as well. Anyway. Right. Cheers. Thank you very much Tom. Thank you. Cheers.